Hello everyone, my name is John Melisandre and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful still life painting. So, as you can see everyone, I painted a tuna fish with tomatoes, garlic and onion. So, what I like about this uh, painting is that it really looks realistic at the distance. So, um, I recommend this to beginners also and also if you are advanced artists, this is also good for you. And this will be a very challenging for beginners. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and please don't forget to hit that bell button on the right bottom side um, if you want to have my latest updates on my tutorials and videos before I'm going to start the tutorial I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use so I still be using the metal colors my palette I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umber so I'm using the colors because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay this is the pass these are the possible brushes so I'll be using the number 12 nylon flat brush long handle number 8 nylon flat brush long handle I also also have here the number 8 nylon flat brush short handle and the number 1 liner brush for the details you can also use zero double zeros and triple zeros okay and this is my canvas it's 10 by 12 inches a 3 cost of prime gesso I made it myself or you can also use um, white acrylic okay and water to thin the paint and if ever we're gonna need water spray to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay so i'm gonna proceed now so i think i'm going to start painting so today i'm gonna paint a still life um, i'm going to paint a tuna fish it will be a small tuna i don't know what kind of tuna is this but it looks like a tuna but a small uh, we call it in our place uh, tulingan or um yeah call it tulingan and i saw also want to put some vegetables like um, like tomato um, onions or uh, I don't know uh, maybe I'll put some more like pepper or whatever that will come out to my mind but if you want to know if I have a reference I have a reference here I took this photo uh, many years ago so I love this photo and I want to try this one okay so maybe I'll show you the reference okay so I'm gonna start now first we're gonna do the sketching so it's very important to do the sketching first and here before I forget everyone so I have here I already put the uh, brown background colors for my for my uh, canvas and it is um, you just have to use the raw umber and white to make it lighter and make sure it's light enough to make it look like gray uh, it's good for the background it can you can you can paint faster just using this one and and also this is good if you want to paint um, um, if you want, even do, don't want to have uh, more coats on your painting so that will be a good idea also and good um, technique okay so I'm gonna do the sketching I have here the umber and white so I'm gonna need to use to, to mix these two colors raw umber and white to make it lighter so everyone um, I'm using lighter color because um, I want it to be on a lighter sketch and it will be easier for me to cover it with other colors um, especially yellow yellow is really light colors and if you put it in the dark colors it can still see through so you need a lighter one and make sure that the the color is lighter or darker than the than the background so I make sure that it will be a little darker add more water in it to make it wet or fluid so I'm gonna do my fish like this and I'm gonna do a little sketching first actually uh, I will not follow everything I see on the fish just the basic form of the fish Yeah, maybe it's too long so uh, maybe I'll, I'm gonna cut this one here that's okay everyone if it will be a little messy it's normal because we are doing the sketch and sketching is when you do trial and error so we do trial and also we have errors it's normal okay 
yeah this one so this will be a top view so here I think I'm gonna put some um, I'll put one tomato here it will be a very not so big tomato but in a normal size I have some other things but uh, I'll just put it later uh, I'm gonna put it here a little I will not follow the exact composition of my photo but um, uh, let's just do uh, to make it uh, in a better composition it's very important everyone if you if you're gonna paint still life the uh, composition will be really important and it will make the painting more appealing and here's some onions it will be some group of onions here it will be on the top view and some other things here I'm not sure but I'll just put it later so that will be the first step yes, we have a little sketching and now we're gonna proceed to adding the underpainting on the background so I'm gonna paint first the fish so I'm really excited to paint this fish 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 uh, I really don't know how to pronounce that so if you heard something that's right so you, you may excuse me okay so I have here we're using the blue uh, some blue and some blue umber uh, basically it will turn gray yes so um, this this, um, this tuna will uh, will be look like silver with a blue on this um, back dark blue on this back but yeah I'll just make it more silver here just mix the two colors so umber and blue to make it more like silver here and I'm gonna put it um, uh, by the way my light is coming from the left side so all the lights will be on the left side yeah that's very bright I need to have white I need to make it lighter So I'll, this is part. This part is the the belly, belly, belly of the fish. This one it should be lighter, and um, we're gonna turn it half. So I'm gonna mix now darker color. So I'll have here the uh, the blue and the raw umber. So it will actually turn into dark color. Almost look like black, but it's actually a dark blue. Just blend it well like this. And I'm gonna put the fin here. If you are having a hard time using a bigger brush, you can use the liner brush or a smaller brush, the number eight flat brush short handle. You can use that. This one looks good. So we need, we need to blend it. Um, make sure that we can see half of its body. So we need to be. This needs to be on half of its body. You could actually use other colors like this to blend it on the center. You can blend it on the center. You can do like that. Um, just add a, a lighter color, and you can do something like this, like a cross cutting, a cross 
hatching or what. I don't know what to call this kind of stroke but we're gonna have a little curved strokes on the center of the between the two colors so I'm crossing between the two colors using a lighter color a lighter color than compared to this one and also lighter color a darker color on the light part yeah And there's some dark colors here. Yeah. Yeah, I like to put details on the on the fish. So I will be using a smaller brush. It will be the number eight liner brush. And uh, no, sorry, it's flat brush. Okay, so I'm gonna put some light first. So here. I'm gonna put a very bright light on this part here. But it'll be a little bluish, so I'm gonna put some blue color mixing with the blue and white. More blue. problem it's still wet I'm gonna put a little red to make it a darker blue and the other blue make some bluish color here also I think it will be look more purple but I'll try purple also so blue red and blue be a little bluish okay so I think I will start now adding some more uh, dark tones so here I'm gonna use some more grayish colors yeah I just use these existing colors here this one is a little darker gray I'm gonna put more details here will be a gill part but this is just uh, my uh, guide so I'll be using more raw umber to make it grayish and more white so I'll add more gray here Now I'm going to use some more some brown, raw umber and white, just a little white. Because I see some brown. Also, I'm gonna put some yellow to make it more yellowish brown. So this part will be a little brownish. I like the color of this um, fish because. With a silver color with some other color reflecting in his body. Oh, it's really interesting and I love it. There. I'm gonna put a little darker. since my background color is still wet so it will be a little harder to put details on it but um, I'll try to use the wet and wet this one here I'm gonna put a little detail 
with some reflecting lights on the uh, its body yeah, there's something reflecting on its body so that will create some regular light colors there so I'm not really sure what what you're gonna call it and here also some lighter colors or stains I'm not really following everything on the of the body of the fish I just want to have the I just want to to memorize the pattern of the fish and I'm gonna create my own pattern here because if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna copy everything here it will make I think I'm gonna finish it for one month so I need to make sure that my the pattern I'm doing here it's the same with the fish so that I can have a realistic fish also not as the same with my reference but it will be perfectly like tuna so it's if very important everyone how to how to if you want to um, save more time and also if you want to create realistic objects um, just have to follow the pattern and make sure that um, your object is in pro proper proportion because it's very important because if it's not in the good proportion it will still look like not realistic so you need to also think about that those things okay so I think I'm gonna try to put the eyes the eye I mean the eye so I'll be using the number one liner brush and I'm gonna put the eye in the center of course not center of the body but center of the head I'm gonna use the raw umber and the blue to make it dark look like black and here I think this part here so first we're gonna do the circle yeah just a circle in the center and then another sink circle on the sides make sure that you are using a pointed brush because it will be hard for you if you cannot do a circle especially those lines tiny lines it will be very hard okay yeah another one here uh, it has a really pretty big eyes yeah I think my eyes is a little bigger <laughs> and now I'm gonna start adding more darker tones but I will be using a smaller brush number 8 flat brush a bigger brush I mean you need to clean your brush first before we're gonna start okay I have further umber and the blue so it will become dark color here so this part should be dark the part here dark I still have to create some fin on the center, but I will do it later. Just so some some design of the pack, something like that. I don't know what called that. And this part should be really really dark okay 
there. Also here should be dark. Yeah, I need to blend here more, but uh, I should not make it more. I uh, I should not make it look dark here. Oh, everything. You should not overdo it. I mean, that's what I mean. Okay. So you, you should put more lighter colors here. Okay. Yeah, so far it looks good. It looks fresh. Okay, so I'm going to retouch more here. Okay. Now I'll be using a smaller brush. I'm going to put uh, more details. So here I'll be using the number one inner brush and some dark colors. So I'll be putting a little detail here. I think this is the gill of this tuna and also here. This will be a fin. Yeah. My breast is wet. Okay. Yeah. So I want more details. I'll be putting more dark tones here. And also here. There. Okay, you can put more lines. And now I'm gonna start adding some highlights. So highlights will be pure white. So I'll be using you need to clean your brush. So make sure that your brush is very clean. There's no other colors in it. And use the pure white using the number one in your brush. Okay. So first, I'm going to put it here. This will make the fish shiny. Okay. And in here also. Some will be not so white, so you can use other colors later. And here, I'm gonna make it white. And this one also. We need to make this part very, very bright. I like how um, I like how um, I like how to put the highlights because uh, this will make the painting pop out. This will make this will make it more look realistic. So far, it looks great. 
so I'll be uh, using this raw umber here with some white so here I'm gonna make it um, light also but uh, I'm not using any white here it just seems as uh, light color uh, something like that uh, it will be a little yellowish but I just use this color yeah more here okay And also here, I need to put some light colors there to have some areas which look shiny. Yeah. And also the part of the eyes. Yeah, so far it looks great. And now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mix some purple. So I'll be using some red and, and blue and white. So it would be uh, look bright. I'll make it a little reddish. it lighter if you want to mix a very good purple you can actually buy actual purple color because when we're using limited colors, it will be hard for us to, to create those uh, perfect purples. But I, I think for me, this is enough. Okay, I'm gonna need more blue. adding some more bluish tone here I think I'm going to put more blue like this pure blue here and white I want to see that there's some blue light reflecting on the body of a fish Okay. okay, so far it looks Yeah, so far I love it. It looks really cool and realistic. Yeah, I think um, I'm going to proceed to the to the other things like the tomatoes and other object here so so that I can uh, I can preserve my time. But I think I'm going to put some more um, tones or um, dips or what you call this, um, shades. So now I'll be using this grayish tone here. I'll put more shades because I think I need to. Oh, it's a light color. I need to make it a little darker. to put some dark here
Yeah, I'll just put some dark tones. This will uh, contribute to make it more realistic. Okay. Yeah, so far it looks good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need to proceed to the to the tomato. So I'm, I think I'm gonna to paint first the tomato. So the other one will be a little greenish, and the other one will be um, orange or red. I think I like I like red, but I want some greenish tomato, yellow and blue. Let get a little lighter. So we have to make it circle. Not perfect circle, but this will be a good circle. Usually, for the meters is not on a perfect circle. So. Now I'm gonna use this color um, and add some raw umber to create a dark greens. This will be a shaded part, so this part should be dark. Okay. Yeah, it's a very perfect circle, but my reference is not circle. Well, I think I love the reference. Now I'm gonna make the other part lighter. I'm gonna use yellow and white. More yellow. So the light's coming from here, it will strike here. So uh, we need to make this part lighter. It looks circle, but I love it. I'm gonna make it a little bigger here. Yeah. And I will try to put some uh, lighter tones. So I just add white and this color here, white. There. 
I'm going to add more light color here. It's a uh, highlights or reflection. Yeah. Okay, so next will be the orange. But first, I'm gonna need to use this darker color here to create some details. Just dark color with a little blue. Just dark umber with the blue. And put it here. So it's still wet, but um, still looks good. Okay. And the other one will be orange. So of course, I think I'm gonna make it a little red. So I like red. So yellow and red. Yeah, just circle. Okay, and now I need more yellow. And then adding white on the yellowish color. So here, I'm gonna make it a little lighter. So, so you should blend it well, everyone. You should careful in blending this one. Okay, so I'm gonna use this orange here, adding some blue umber to make it darker. Blue umber, yellow, and red. So I want more umber and yellow. Because I want to create. Uh, the darker part or the the shadow part here it should not be look red or orange it should be look more brownish that's how we're gonna create some shadow So I have now some tomato. I'm gonna put a little detail here. Even though on my reference I have no detail, but I still want to put detail there. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if, it, if it looks like a tomato. Okay, so now I'm going to put some. This is now almost 40 minutes, and so far. I paint a really wonderful painting so far. Okay, so here I'm going to put some. This one will be a group of um, onions. It will be with onions. So I will be using this brown and do a little sketch here. And 
I'm going to divide this into some parts to create those um, growth of onions I'm not sure if this is onion no, I think this is garlic sorry everyone yeah I think this is garlic because onions does it look like that okay so we are about to cut this garlic here so this, some parts here are already been gone used in the kitchen uh, I think my mother used it yeah I think no one used it uh, aside from my mother okay so I'm gonna shade this part here because this part should be dark okay now I'm gonna put I'm gonna I'm gonna mix for brown color so here raw umber red and white So we're not going to put yellow, just this color. Yeah, because the reference will be a little different, so I'm not going to copy from the reference. I just want to get some idea there. Because, you know, I have a different reference on this one. The lighting will be a little different, so I'm gonna also create my own. So here I'm gonna use, so I'm mixing a darker color. Just add raw umber to it to make it darker. So this part will be dark. Yeah. And then some raw umber. Okay. And here I'm gonna put one one onion. So this time will be onion. So I think I'm gonna put it here. It will be a big onion. I think uh, I don't want to put it here because it will look like something. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna put a little big onion. Um, it will be lying down. Yeah, it will be. It will. Uh, it will separate to the group. So I like it. Maybe you know, put it. It will um, roll around. First, I'm gonna use this dark color. Umber. I know just red and this raw umber here. Yeah, I can use the two colors red and raw umber. So, anyway, this is just the background colors first. Okay. Hey. 
yeah and now I think I'm gonna start adding some shadings or uh, shades or yeah some shades or casted shadows so it's very important so here I'm gonna use the this raw umber plus blue and a little white I don't want it to be really dark also So here I'm gonna use this color here. So here it should be dark. And then also here. I don't like this brush. It's not broken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put more later. So here, umber and blue and white. So we're gonna add more shades here. Okay, so we have just have to blend all the colors there to make it more like um, realistic so first I'm gonna need to use the white you can also spray it with water to make it a little wet there. I'll be using some more umber and white can clean the other sides by mixing the same color on the background 
we can do that just draw umber and white Then blend also the edges. So your shadows should be this, this, uh, the same with the shape of your object. So here it should be the same. But this one I make it a little faded. It's not really a strong shadow everyone. Yeah we can touch it later on. Yeah. Okay so I need to so it's almost one hour everyone so I'm gonna retouch more so here I'm going to cover this part okay so we will try to put more um, highlights on the shadows oh no I mean details on the shadows later on so here I'll be using this blue umber and white but I want to make it lighter I'm gonna try to add some highlights on the onion I mean garlic <laughs> sorry everyone Sometimes I'm really having a hard time knowing all those things. So I just have to put white uh, lights here. So it has some, um, I don't know what to call that. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little more darker colors on this garlic. So I'll be using again the umber. Okay. 
I'm in this part. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna add more details later. Uh, but I think I'm gonna put some more highlights. I think I'm gonna put white or just lighter color and add more. Still wet, but uh, I like to put highlights on this one. Okay. So I'll be I'll uh, using again raw umber and blue to make some dark colors Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put plenty more details here. going to put uh, diffuse highlights on the back part so here I'm gonna use some white and a little bluish color just white and a little bluish but also with the raw umber it will be look bluish this is a reflection coming from the highlights on the floor so I'm not sure if I'm gonna change the color of the floor I like it and I uh, con uh, consume more time so I think I'll just use this color here so here I'm gonna put a little diffuse lights So it will be a little bluish. Yeah. Yeah, so far it looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put details on the red onion. So I'm gonna use the raw umber. I'm gonna put some detail here yeah and some a uh, little leaf here okay I'll be using this brush the number 8 flat brush short handle and some bluish or reddish color and white. Uh, the rest of this reddish color has raw umber in it, so it will not so perfectly reddish. And then I'm gonna put some little highlights. There. And then I'm gonna use this um, reddish color, brownish color, but with some raw umber or more raw umber. I'm gonna make this part a little lighter. Okay. 
Okay. I'll add more highlights. So I'm going to add some more white. And I'm going to put um, some darker tones. So I'll be using the umber. So it's still wet. So maybe I will. I will retouch it later on but I will put some bluish blue and red to make it a little purple and white more red on this part it will be more red This is a diffuse uh, reflection, everyone. So it will be more purple, look more purple. Okay. Now I'm going to make the shadow um, darker so it's still light for me so I'm going to add more umber and blue so first I'm going to make this part darker and also this one I think I'm gonna make it more brownish yeah and we need to blend the edge here okay so I'm gonna texting me here So the, the nearest part should be darker and also this one. This one also will be a little darker. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to retouch more here. I'm going to blend um, this part a little more better. 
okay and I'm going to put some shadow here on this part of the fish so I will be using this so umber here it will be a little gray yes with a little blue and I'm gonna put some shadow here it should be lighter it will be a casted shadow from this um, tomato Okay, yep. And then this one also. Okay. Yeah, so far it looks great. Yeah, it looks realistic. And now I'll be using some more blue and dark colors. I'm gonna make this part a little darker. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make this part um, reflect it should have a little reflection on this one so from the fish because the fish will usually reflect when it hits by the light so I'm gonna put a reflection because since this part is really bright I'm gonna put a little reflection on that so first I'm gonna mix for letter green yellow and blue and white it's too much <laughs> just add, add more a little umber and also this one but this part should be a little greater And also this one reflection on this part it's actually a diffuse reflection okay and now of course on the orange part you should have put also some reflection there so yellow and red and white time check it's um, one hour and eight minutes, so so far it's good. Yeah, this one should have a lighter color. And then this one has to be more. Okay. And this one will be a little lighter. Okay. And I'm gonna add more yellow and white here. Because I want it to be lighter here. Okay, and I need white. Yeah, okay. And also on the other light green, I'm gonna add some white.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna add more dark tones there. So I want, I want, I'm now on the part of retouching. So I'm thinking of adding more plants there or whatever. But I think uh, it will be one hour and ten minutes. Well, maybe this one will be. For now, this looks perfect. Yeah. So I am now. I am going now to retouch this painting. So I want it to me look more beautiful. So here I'm gonna add some white or some gray. This one will be. This part will be more lighter gray. I will add more depths because uh, I think it lacks depths more darks I want it more darks so here I'm gonna add more blue and yellow and umber it's a dark green actually so this part I'm gonna make it darker okay it's not dark just blue yellow and Umber. I want this part to look more round. So I need to, to have more darks there. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. So, this red also, I need some red, raw umber, and yellow. It should be look more dark brown. I don't know, I wonder why it's still wet. Darks, umber, and this blue color here. I want this part to be darker. If you have black, you can still use black also. I want more blue. But I'm not recommending you to use black. I want more blue. I would like to put blue stone here. Okay. Okay, so everyone, I think I am done. So I think 
my only correction with this one because this part is a little lighter so maybe I'll just adjust later so I will I will make it this a little darker here for the final result but for now this is good um, this fabric look more realistic so so far I love this result so I want to say thank you everyone for watching this video today so if you are watching until here I want to thank you for everything so you can watch more and I hope you are learning you get something out of this tutorial so hopefully okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like add some comments subscribe for videos in the future Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.